Oh hi, thanks for watching my video, and welcome back to another ranch episode. This will probably be the last ranch episode for a little while, I think after today um, we'll take a little break from the ranch series. Alyssa's currently just having a word with herself, she was a bit embarrassed after peeing herself in the last episode. And she's annoyed because she didn't like her drink, so you know, she's just a bit grumpy right now all round. So I think probably the first thing I'll do is I will send her to maybe... Do we have any leftovers? No? Just grab a sandwich then. We'll fill up your needs and then we'll fill up the dog's bowl. Let's take a look and see how my my eggs are coming along. Okay, one of them is being sat on. This one isn't. I don't know why Black Hen isn't sitting on this egg. There we go. I'll move it to underneath her. So I've got two eggs incubating currently. Aw, oh, Dev and Josie became good friends. So in the last episode, we had a few births. We had two eggs hatched, so we now have a hen and a rooster chick. We also adopted a child. So Alia is a toddler, and then we also got a new family member, Josie, who seems to be getting on with her dad pretty well. They've just become good friends, and I guess jokesters as well. I have noticed that um, Alyssa... Because she has the fear of being cheated on, I think one thing she can do to help with that fear is talk over relationship fears with Dev. I mean, he is trying to reassure us. Look at that, coming in for a little peck. Talk about relationship fears. That might help you get over your worry that he's going to cheat. You've never been cheated on, so I don't know why you have this fear. He seems pretty... He seems pretty open, yeah? He seems fine. Alyssa put herself forward and opened lines of communication, but the problems aren't over. Maybe another day of communicating her worries will finally help overcome her fears. Oh, great. One step at a time from confronting fears. Alyssa has done the first step towards confronting her fears, but it will take a little more work to be fully ready to conquer them. Oh, well, that's okay, Alyssa. That's fine. Now, I'm thinking... Um, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna come and harvest everything in my greenhouse and everything in this greenhouse. So I've got these patches over here. These are nice. Crocus flowers. We'll harvest these as well. I've got this patch over here and I want to fill it with some seasonal plants because right now I've got stuff that's fully grown but I can't do anything with them because they're out of season. I'm planning on staying in spring for a while. What are these? Oh, holly. Yeah, we're going to stay in spring for quite a while, so I kind of feel like I may as well use up those patches and we'll plant seasonal stuff so that it's not, like, just a waste of space and there is some use for it. So we'll harvest everything. I really want to get more into flowers, especially the roses. May wants to know if I want to donate to charity. Well, it will get me fame, so yeah, sure, fuck it. Yeah, those uh, rose bushes that I planted yesterday. I mean, they're not all blooming, but four of them are. And also I've noticed that these bushes have more roses on them than the rose bush I have in my greenhouse. So I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's just because they bloom better when they're outside in season. But these are doing pretty well, and roses are worth quite a lot of money. So I'm kind of thinking what I might do is just try and plant a few more and then we'll come back we'll spray that tree and we'll um we'll water everything what now man i'm getting so many calls we've heard stellar things about you we'd like to offer you an interstellar opportunity how do you like to be an astronaut we'd even boost you up for a few ranks so you could start as a low orbit specialist i'm gonna decline i've got my hands full here on the ranch and now we're a mum we got two girls we got two new baby chicks waiting to be born, and two that were born recently. I've got my hands full. I mean, it's taking hours just to harvest everything. Oh, she's got another mood buff growing stronger together. It takes time, but discussing, discussing issues and problems before they become too big has helped Alyssa strengthen her relationship. Oh, has it? Oh, look at that. Their bar is so full. Oh, they do have sentiments that are about to run out, though, but that is sweet. Dev and Alyssa, they're just couple goals, I think. Patchy's working so hard trying to tidy my garden. Oh, I've got a massive, I've got a few chunks of prairie grass as well. It'd be quite good to harvest some of that because we've been working so hard making bottles of nectar to keep our wine racks full. It'd be pretty handy if we just stumbled across a few bottles while we check the prairie grass. So I think we are going to inspect that today. All this harvesting, though, is making Alyssa pretty tired. Okay, I think we've done enough to take care of the garden. I know there are still some, you know, weeds and stuff, but that's what I pay a gardener for. That's what Patchy gets up for. So, you know, I'm not going to break my balls trying to fix that. Let's see if we find anything interesting in the prairie grass. And then I think we better call it a day and we'll go to bed. 
Oh, Josie just became good friends with Tulip. Oh, I got some potato nectar. Okay, very nice. Is it finely aged? Not yet aged. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We were going to stick it in the wine rack anyway. Looks like that's all to harvest right now. Okay. Okay, well, I think let's get everybody to bed. The baby's already gone to bed. Um, how is the child doing? She's tired, so she can... She's already on her making her way to bed. Okay, good. Oh, no. Tulip's sad, and she's got low hygiene. What about Pumpkin? What's her problem? Again, low hygiene. Okay, well, I'm going to have to give him a wash tomorrow then. Fridge is broken. Great. Just going to replace that. We're, we're too rich to be repairing it at this point. What are you making? Faux meat butter chicken. Oh, okay. Exotic. That looks pretty good, Dev. So maybe once you finish eating, you can go to the bathroom and go to bed. And while they're all sleeping, I'm going to have a look and see what spring plants I have. Okay, this one grows, so I'm going to plant some more because they're quite pretty. Snapdragon. We'll get some more snapdragons planted. Daisies. I'm going to do a few more roses over here so I can plant a few bushes. I think also I'm going to get her to study the flowers so that we can have a look at grafting. Because we haven't grafted any plants together and I'd quite like to make a few more like exotic flowers. Oh no, the dog is sick. Okay, um, Dev, you're going to have to take the dog to the clinic. He's not very well. He's got some, some stars around his head. He's seeing stars. Let's take him to the vet. Poor Jeff. Okay. Just barge, barge that person out the way. Sign Jeff in. You're just carrying a sparkler around in the vet, are you? Okay, stop chatting, Dev. Go into the patient room. Don't let Jeff go through that on his own. Go in there with him. He needs moral support. All right, vet, what's the verdict? Wait, did I just hear baby music? Is it is a animal having a baby? What's going on with this one? Is it having a baby or something? No, I guess not. She hasn't told me what my treatment is. Comfort Jeff. Can you tell me what needs to be done? You're just broken now. Okay, I think maybe it's just broken because she's not told me what's wrong with him, so I guess I'm going to have to sign him in again. Have you just stopped being a vet or what's going on? Wasting my time. Okay, so I guess we're going to examine him again. And this time he's being examined in this room. Oh, they've given me the same vet. Why? She's useless. She didn't diagnose him. Okay, try again. There we go. He's got derpy doggy syndrome. Let's go um, the best of the best. Okay, he's got his treatment. Okay, Jeff, let's go home. All right, we've got a healthy dog. So, Alyssa, I'm going to have you come and plant all of these. I've left some of these patches empty because I want to save them for, like, if we graft something and create something new. Or, actually, what I could do is I could use Dev to come and plant all these... And Alyssa, I could I could instead have you um, research some of the flower bushes. We'll come research the roses. What else? This flower here. Bluebell. Daisies. Snapdragon. And I think that will do for now. So let's see. What have you already researched? This one. Okay. Just brings cheer wherever they go. So nothing about grafting. Fine. Oh no, I think she might end up turning into a plant sim. Okay, what about the rose? Graft with grapes to get bonsai buds. Hmm, okay. We can make a great writer out of you. Normally we'd start with a small blog that no one would read, but because you're such a big deal, we'd like to make you a regular contributor. No, I don't want the job. What is my reputation? It must be, like, super high. Great reputation. It's not even pristine. Grafting this with tulip to get birds of paradise. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I've got tulip yet, though. I would like a bird of paradise. But I think you have to graft other things to even just get tulip, don't you? Graft with strawberry to get grapes. Oh, we already have grapes. Anything interesting about daisies? Grafting with strawberry to get bonsai buds. Oh, but you can also get bonsai buds from grapes and roses, okay? Okay, and then finally, Snapdragon. Graft with strawberries to get dragon fruit. Graft with dragon fruit to get cow plant berries. Graft with lilies to get orchids. Oh, but I don't have any lilies. Oh, I could do a supercell here. Fuck it, let's go supercell. We've got loads of harvestable stuff. We'll get over a grand for some of that, that stuff. I'm not making nearly as much money as I could do with growing this stuff because I just keep all of it, but I don't need all of it. 
Oh, talk over relationship fears with Dev. Okay, I have the choice to do that again. Maybe, just maybe, that will get us over this fear. Once he's finished changing, Ali is nappy. Which he shouldn't be, to be fair, because she's independent. She should be using the potty. But we'll talk over our fears when you're ready. Look at the state of those. I can't do anything about it because they're out of season. Maybe I'll move them into a greenhouse or something. Okay, we're talking about our relationship fears again. And then we'll grab some food. Uh, maybe we'll just serve something so that the kid can have something when she gets home. Let's just do a load of BLT, shall we? Does Alyssa like stories? Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, uh, another, another job offer. No, thank you. Okay, I don't think we're over that fear yet. Oh, shit, we're over it. Difficult. No, we won't be difficult. Why do you keep being a bitch for no reason? Reminisce about wedding day. Remember the good times. Yeah, she's totally got over her fear now. Perfect. Oh, the dog wants a walk. You know what, um, Dev? Go on a walk. Go for a long walk. The dog wants to go for a walk. Drop everything and do what the dog wants, Dev. She has a mood buff, marital bliss, from recalling a milestone. Back to where it all began. Who knew marriage would still feel this great? Well, you say that, but you just called him an asshole a few minutes ago. Okay, the kid's back. Still a C student. She's got high confidence, which is good. Now I know you're hungry, food is being made, but for now, I saw that pop up saying it's merely satisfactory, so do your homework while we make some food. And then while I remember, I will stick this bottle of wine in our rack. Oh, we've mastered the cooking skill. I wasn't even trying. Wasn't even trying to master the cooking skill, but there we go. And now I've got lots of achievement pop-ups and I don't really know why. <laughs> I maxed out the gardening skill a while ago. But the game, I guess, is only recognising it now? Oh, Ali is playing in her big sister's room with her doll's house after she destroyed her own doll's house, which we're not going to fix right away. She can spend a couple of days with a broken doll's house so she learns. Okay, needs are pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a grapevine. I'm going to take a cutting and I'm going to graft one of my rose bushes so we can get some bonsai seeds. Okay, graft my rose bush. There we go. Chicken coop is slightly dirty. We'll come and clean that and then we'll scatter some feed nearby as well. Oh, another achievement. Such achievement today. Um, we'll scatter some feed as well. Six hours until the, my eggs hatch. Where's Dev? Is he still walking? Yeah, you guys are out for a long walk, huh? You getting too hot? Why don't I just change you into something a little, a little warmer? Like that. There we go. Shouldn't be too hot now. Perfect. See you guys back at home. We'll just chat to Tulip for a little bit. She likes my jokes. Toddler is a bit hungry. Um, I might just get you to give food to her. Some crackers, maybe. Oh, Cindy's calling. Clement Frost is pretty cute. Yeah, you should go for it. You'll get all the presents. Is Dev still out? Yeah, he's still out walking. I think I'm gonna let them come back home now because he's probably... Yeah, I mean, he's very hungry and he needs to take shit, so... Jeff is probably exhausted as well, so we'll top up his food bowl and then we will read Alia to sleep. How's the kid doing? She's all right. She's just got kind of low energy. Might send her to bed as well. Actually, what I might do is we'll read the baby to sleep and then we'll spray the monster under the bed because we've been pretty lucky so far. We haven't had any monster incidents, but you know, sod's law that it'll happen just when I think we're safe. So we'll spray it. We'll spray it. Oh, the kid's already asleep. Well, Hopefully you can still spray it, even with her sleeping there. Spray the monster under the bed, and then go and have some kip yourself. Dev, why aren't you coming home? I told you to come home ages ago. You only have yourself to blame. Come on, dum dum. Jeff's already home. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Yeah, he got home ages ago. He's filling up on eating horse manure. I just heard another jingle, and I don't know what it means. Hopefully it doesn't mean that it's the end of the road. Oh, it's hatched. Okay, perfect. Right, kid, go back to bed. Oh, Dev, you had an accident. Go and take a shower. Mop up your mess. God, have some food and go to bed. Should we do a quick milestones check? It's been a while since we saw Alyssa's milestones. Fire, fair, woohoo, horse competition. Oh, we got one for adopting. That's sweet. Yeah. Aw, nice. Oh, oh, we got some new baby chicks. What do we get? We've got a rooster, a hen, another rooster. Oh, we've got three boys. So those two incubated um, eggs were boys. 
Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't sound too promising for the life of this one hen who's going to have to carry on reproducing, but maybe we'll have some more hens in due course. Let's go clean out the coop. we got a big day today. We can finally participate in the Ultimate Horse Championship and we've found some Vitality Fertiliser. Right, well, it's gone seven. We'll scatter feed. We'll take the girls to the equestrian centre. I am going to let Pumpkin do a, um, a competition as well because she, you know, she hasn't done one for a while. I want to keep them both in used to do... I want to keep them both used to doing competitions because Pumpkin's going to be um, Josie's horse. Okay, is there anything I can do for Tulip to try and get her confident? Compliment? If I compliment her enough times? Compliment physique. If we, what if we just go for a super quick ride? That might get her confident, possibly. Okay, well that didn't make us confident, but fine, whatever. We will, we will try the ultimate horse championship. Two thousand simoleon entry fee. I think we got to do it. Let's go. Our first time. This is the first time I've ever competed in the ultimate horse championship as well. All right, Tulip, don't be nervous. You're gonna smash it, girl. You don't have to place first, it's okay. Oh, do you know what I should have done though? I should have get, gotten a, a Lissa to take a confidence potion beforehand. Ah, oh, kicking myself. Oh well, it'll be what it'll be. And now we wait, we just wait for the best. Invitation to become a style influencer. <gasps> Shut up. We won, we won the ultimate horse championship. You've earned the title of ultimate champion. This achievement is a testament to your hard work, talent, and stellar relationship with your horse. You stand proudly in front of the cheering crowd, knowing that you and your horse will go down in history as one of the greats. Oh my god, Tulip! Well done! Oh, she's she's thinking about it. She's so happy. Okay, let's take um Pumpkin for one. Let's take her for... Are there any that she hasn't done? She's not really qualified for expert. Although this one, possibly, she's only two points off. Let's... Let's test it out. Let's try her on the expert. Let's take a look at Tulip's profile, see if anything's changed. Oh, her value has gone up by about seven grand. She's got the ultimate horse championship. First place here. Champion partner. Oh, how far we've come, eh? How far we have come. Okay, so we'll head home after this, um, after Pumpkin's competition. Oh, she got silver. Very good, very good. We're gonna head home and take a look at our trophy. Okay, first I've got to find a spot to put it, I think. Oh, maybe here on the table. Where is it? Where's my trophy? Here it is. First place. Okay, I guess I don't have room for it on that table, but that's fine. I'll move the flowers over there. Why won't it place? Okay, for some reason I can't place it down. I mean, that's what it looks like. It's pretty impressive. It's massive. Maybe that's why it didn't fit on the table. Put it back in your inventory and I'll see if I can find a home for it. There we go, much better. We'll have it outside so that Tulip can look at it as well. She can see her achievement. Ah, oh, this is what it was all for. And it's beautiful. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>